For a lot of people stuck at home, we know coming up with different things to do can be difficult, especially when we're talking about kids. Oh, yes. <laughs> so we've compiled a few different options of some interesting things that you could check out from the comfort of your couch. <laughs> ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Bowles is here now to break them down for us. And Bree, this is something I did a long time ago and haven't done since. So well, that's it's a good, good reminder. Because I'm going to need your help with this, Kirsten, so pay attention. Since kids are tasked with learning at home at the moment, and that means a lot more screen time when they're taking a break from their actual lessons, something educational to check out is never a bad idea. So some good news here. A Google Arts and Culture team has collaborated to create virtual tours and online exhibits of some of the best museums in the world. For example, we have the British Museum in London. Some of the highlights here include Rosetta Stone, Parthenon marbles, Egyptian mummies, and the Enlightenment Gallery. Now, if you like art, I had to perceive help with the pronunciation on this one, you can visit the Guggenheim. You can expect to see all kinds of really cool exhibits of modern and contemporary art, all seen from Frank Lloyd Wright's landmark building in Manhattan. But Kirsten, this is where I'm asking for your help, okay? Because you were our French foreign exchange student, right? So you're gonna help me with the pronunciation of number seven here. You can even pretend you're in Paris and check out the Louvre. The Louvre. Louvre. Oh, that's the American pronunciation. I Googled it. If you're from France, you'd say Louvre. But Louvre works. Is There's that true, several... Kirsten? <laughs> it's like there. love. Okay. The love. The Louvre. Whatever. Check it out. There's several different virtual <laughs> tours you can check out, including exhibits for Egyptian antiquities. Now, another one of my favorite options, because let's be honest, we all need this right now. We just want to smile. Live streams of animals. Zoos aren't open, and in lots of spots, even some of the parks you could head to to check out the wildlife have limited access. So here's a way to enjoy some nature from home. No matter what your favorite animal is, chances are there is something that you'll enjoy. We've got manatees for you to perceive. Yeah. The Smithsonian National Zoo's got panda cams. And for a surprisingly calming option, if you need to decompress, Vancouver Aquarium's jelly cam is a great choice. Plus, they've got a penguin cam and a sea otter cam as well. Horses, pups, otters, it's all over at clickorlando.com. That's where all the good stuff is. And while you're there checking those lists out, you can go ahead and tell us about your favorite unique live streaming option that's new during the pandemic so we can share them with the other viewers, guys. That is so fun. I know my husband, all he could talk about are these different sportscasters that are doing, yeah. uh, you know, different live events. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're just doing whatever they want with, uh, you know, dogs that are right near each other. I don't know. It sounds silly, but it's actually very entertaining It right is. Now. We've come up with new ways to entertain ourselves, for sure.